right, hello once again. This is Jeff Scott of Rankin Technical College, and as part of the Rankin Technical College AWD 1111 class for the fall 2020 semester at Rankin, I've been doing a series of video presentations based on the textbook we're using for that class. That textbook being Get Programming with Node.js by Jonathan Wexler, a Manning publication. I am in at the end of Unit 1, which is Lesson 7, and in Lesson 7, it is the beginning of our capstone project where we're creating our first web application for Confetti Cuisine. Now, the author says here, before I continue with more code, I want to review the application's directory structure. In the project structure, I want my main.js, my package.json, and router.js files to live at the root. There's those two. And there's those down here that we can see right there. Any HTML content will be represented as individual .html files, which will live in a views folder. The complete application directory structure will look like the following listing shown right there. Also in your book on the bottom of page 75 and the top of page 76. And the author says the application server will respond to HTML files in the views folder. The assets will rely in a, uh, will live in a folder named public. And the author's note here, HTML files will be viewed by the client, but they're not considered to be assets and don't go in the public folder. The public folder contains an images folder, a JS folder for client-side JavaScript, and a CSS folder to hold the application's client-facing assets. These files define the styles and JavaScript interactions between the application and the user. To add some quick styling for the application, the author downloaded bootstrap.css from the address that's shown there and added it to the CSS folder in public. The author also created a confetti underscore cuisine dot CSS file for customized styling rules that uh, he may want to apply to the project. So before we go on to the application logic, let's build this. This might seem the way I'm going to do it to be a little clunky, but to me it makes the most sense. All right. So care about that. Let's see. There's my confetti cuisine right there. So right now under confetti cuisine, just care about the names that are here. Okay. So right now I have no main.js, no router.js. So let's create those first. So this will be main.js, and it's empty. So I'm going to start copying it to places. So this next one will become router.js. Come on. All right, so I've got those two done. There were some more JS files down here. I've already got my package locked JSON. My package JSON, so I'm going to create these two content types.js and utils.js. Okay, so utils.js and content types.js. So I've got all my JavaScript files. Next I'm going to come in here and I'm going to make my views folder and throw these five HTML files in there. So I'm in views right now. I will make my first one and then copy it four times. I don't want a folder. I'm sorry.
so that will be index.html. Yes. And let's copy it. Paste it. Whoops. Okay, I don't want to do that. Forget that. What the heck happened here? I don't want main.js there. I should already have it up here. I do. That's me trying to get things done too fast. That's my fault. So there it's gone. All right. So error.html. Thanks.html. Courses.html. and contact.html. So we've got contact.html, courses.html. Did I spell that right? I think I did. I'll change it just to C-O-U-R-S-E-S. So courses, error, thanks, index, they should all be there. So I now have everything you see here. So let's move up one. Let's create a JavaScript folder. Again, this is for my client side JavaScript. I will copy utils into it, which is just an empty file. I will open that up. And I'm going to change the name of this to confettiquisine.js. OK, that's now done. I will create an images folder and throw nothing into it. I'm either going to grab those from the author's site or get my own. It doesn't really matter, though, right now. All right, um, let's see, I need a CSS folder. And that's going to have two files in it. One will be confettiquisine.css. And the other one will be copied over from the Bootstrap site. But one thing I did not do was to create a public folder here. And in my public folder, I want to put my CSS, my images, and my JS. CSS, images, and JS will go into the public folder. All right, so I think the only thing that I have to do is to grab that bootstrap.css file. And the author told us where that lived. It's right there. I said, I think everything else here is done. So let's go back one more time. to my CSS file. Travel. 
Apple CSS classes. I'm not worried about this. We can always go back and I don't even know what the heck that is or if there is a file by that name. So normalize. Freeze grid options. Tell you what, let's just make our own for right now. We can always go back and change that later. So under public CSS, let's grab this, copy it, paste it, and we'll put that in as bootstrap.css. Whoops, boy, I didn't change that. .css, yes. Yes, let's double check and make sure everything looks okay in here and then we'll be done. Images is empty, I believe. JS has got confetti cuisine.js. These are all okay. Views, node modules was created automatically. Content types.js, main.js. Routes.js. And utils.js. So the only thing to check is views. Contact.html, courses.html, error.html, index.html, thanks.html. So to my knowledge, I've got pretty much everything that I need to get the package started or to get the program started. So let's stop it right here for the end of 7.2.